right now. You can write it on your paper. That'd be awesome. On your paper, you can do 10. Yes, you can. All right, paperweight, chip and pyramid, square base, three inches, slant, height of five. What's the total surface area? So you go to your formula chart. It says surface area, the total surface area of a pyramid is one half PL plus V. So as always, we identify the base. Since it's a square pyramid, this base has to be the square. So we draw the square out separately. Since it's a square, we know it's 3 by 3. So we need the perimeter, we need the area of that square. So we add up all the sides, 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 is 12. The area of that, 3 times 3, is There's nothing funny about this. I know you don't. Well, I'm sure you do, but I don't really want to hear it right now. Okay, L is the slant height, or this lateral height, which is this distance of 5. Once we get here, the rest of this is just basic arithmetic. So we have 1 half of 12, which is 6, times 5 plus 9. 6 times 5 is 30, plus 9 is 39. So that's inches squared. So the total surface area here is 39. That's it. So this comes down to, can you put down the right formula? Can you put in the right numbers? And then you get the answer. All right, second one, cubical box. So that's a rectangular prism. So we look at our formula to find we want total surface area, so we go back to our chart, and we get this is the perimeter of the base times the height plus 2 times the base. One of the key things here a lot of people they missed out on is this one word that says estimate, which means instead of using 2.95, what number can we use? Three. So I'm going to change all these 2.95s into threes, because that is going to make this much easier. This is also sort of some redundant math here, because our base, since it's a cube, all of our sides are exactly the same. They're all three by three. Why does that sound familiar? Because we just did that in the last one. What is the perimeter and area of this? We have 12 and... Nine. Okay, then go home. I can write a note that says you're here for 20 minutes and talk the entire time and didn't really get anything done. That's what I can do. Okay, the height is three. So we have 12 times three plus 2 times 9, so 12 times 3 is 36. 36, 2 times 9 is 18, and that adds up to 54. 54. So there's your answer. You too. Brooke? Alright, number 3, same as number 2, Rectangular prism, since it doesn't give us a picture, we can draw it. Eighth graders. I guess this should be dotted too. You get the idea. So there's a rectangular prism. We can fill in our numbers here. Again, anytime it gives you decimals here, but all of our answers are whole numbers, we can assume what can we probably do? 
round them. So let's say instead of 12.9, let's say this is 13. Instead of 5.1 inches wide, let's say it's 5. Instead of 5 inches tall, let's say it's 5. I'm not going to round that one. It's already a whole number. Okay, again, since we want total surface area, we have our formula, which is perimeter times the height plus 2 times the area of the base. Since it's a rectangular prism, our base can be any of these rectangles, but we're going to go with the top and the bottom. We can draw it out separately so we don't get mixed up. So we're looking for what is the perimeter and the area of that rectangle. So our perimeter would be 18 times 2 is 36. And our base, the area is what? Quickly, new girl, 13 times 5. You don't know how to do 13 times 5? What math class do you have? 13 times 5. You multiply every day. Seriously? Was that what's 13 times 5? Oh, 75. Nope. Wow. 13 times 5 is 65. Yeah, I know, but... What? Why do you sound like someone I just want to kick out of my room because I don't know you? I may have answered my own question. So perimeter is 36. Area of the base is 65. How about the height of our prism? It's 5. Why is it 5? How, why do we know that's the height? Because it's not on the base, that's technically correct. What's a better reason why that's the height? <laughs> not because I said so. Although, because it connects the bases. Very good, thank you. Eventually. So we have 36 times 5 plus 2 times 65. Again, we're back to just doing math. 36 times 5. Hold on. What's half of 360? 180. 180. <laughs> 2 times 65? Well, we got things to do today. We don't have to spend all day for you to work out what 2 times the number is. And then we add them together, and we do get 310 inches squared. So even if, when it doesn't say to round it, sometimes it just sort of assumes you should be rounding. Okay. Is that serious? Only three problems? Yeah. These take forever. I know. A paint can. What is, all right, finally we get an easy one. What is the lateral surface area of this paint can? So a paint can is in the shape of a cylinder. cylinder. Feel free to answer, new kid. So lateral surface area, if we go to our chart, it's just the circumference of this, which is pi, or 2 pi r, times the height. So that's all we need to know. And if we look, all of our answer choices are written as whole numbers, so what can we assume we can use for pi? 3. three. So let's say pi is 3. What is our radius? 4. Why is radius 4, not 8? because it's half the diameter, very good. And what is the height of our cylinder? Ten. Ten. There you go, new kid. I, I don't know your name. Okay, new kid. So we have... Do what? Three times six? Forty times six. Forty times six, okay. So you skip the step where 2 times 3 is 6 and 4 times 10 is 40. And then 6 times 40 is 240. No, it's not. Bummer. Okay, so I guess they wanted to use 3.14. Or we can assume, since we use the number of... 
Since we use a number a little bit less than 3.14, that means the actual answer should be a little bit more than 240, which is 251. Is that right? Do I have a charger? No, I drive a Focus. <laughs> uh, all right, number five. This one's also really easy. You should always be thankful when they tell you that it has a base area of 49, because that saves you a whole lot of trouble here. And it tells you the perimeter, too. So it tells us that B is... 49, it tells us that the perimeter is 28. And it also tells the lateral height. So that's really everything we needed to calculate is done for us. So we don't even need a picture for this. All we need is the formula. So formula for total area of a pyramid is 1 half PL plus B. And we know all this. So we have 1 half of 28 times 9 plus 49. So half of 28 is 14, 14 times 9, 150 minus 9 is, no wait, that's not right. Is that right? 140 minus 9. Does that, does that work out? What's 14 times 9? I'm just making stuff up. Lizette's going to do the work because she, she's so tired of doing this. I don't know. Really? What was I thinking? That was 140 minus 14. Sorry. It's a little late. So 126 plus 49. 175. Inches squared. Why do you think that C is one of our answer choices? So what does this represent? What is 126? That is the not the lateral height, but the lateral. Not quite. 126 is the lateral area. So. If they ask you for the lateral area, what that means is you want just the one-half PL, which did work out to 126. So that might have been the question, but it's not. That's why the answer is D. Okay, the second half is just like the first half, so I'm sure you can handle that on your own. You can let um, What's-Her-Face help you with it. All right, good luck. <laughs>